those who have been at the forefront of this endeavor. First, let us remember that the embargo limited our ability to protect our citizens, enforce the rule of law, and secure our border. It also hampered our efforts to build a capable and professional national army that can ensure the safety and the well-being of our people. Therefore, over the past decade, we have gradually enhanced our weapons and, and ammunition management have been on ongoing for the whole of the last decade. Our journey towards the lifting of the 31st years, 31 years of armies embargo has been bathed with the dedication of those who spared no effort. Among them are the valiant members of the Somali security forces and the whole government of Somalia, who working tirelessly around the, do around the clock have dedicated their time and effort to critical tasks across the country. Their commitment has been exemplary and we honor their contribution towards achieving this major goal. Yet, it's not only our security forces who have borne the burden of this formidable undertaking. Civilians, too, have played an integral role in the process showing resiliency and determination in the face of the adversity. Implementing the, pattern, the implementing partners, both national and international, have stood by our side, contributing to their expertise and resources, our friends and allies from within Somalia and beyond have lent their support, recognizing the collective importance of this journey towards a more risk, towards a more secure and stable nation, Somalia. As we honor those who have dedicated their lives and those who have made the ultimate sacrifice, let us renew our commitment to building on the successes we've achieved so far. The hard work made thus far underscores the gravity of our responsibility and the importance of ensuring that our efforts contribute to the continuation of strengthening our weapons and ammunition systems across the country. In particular, I wanted to extend a special thanks to the United Kingdom, the band holder of the United Nations Security Council resolutions on the arms embargo in Somalia. Their commitment and support throughout the negotiation process, as well as their day-to-day -day involvement in supporting Somalia implement our national weapons and ammunition management priorities and objectives, has been invaluable. Furthermore, our friends and allies' dedication has been, has been a beacon, guiding us through the challenges and ensuring the success of our collective undertaking. The resources, expertise, and the collaborative spirit has reinvigorated our effort, making the lifting of arms embargo not just a possibility, but a reality. The lifting of the arms embargo is not just a policy change. It is a recognition of the collective determination and resolve that has brought us to this historic moment today. In this historic occasion, let us honor and celebrate all those who have dedicated themselves to the cause of strengthening our weapons and ammunition capacity and capability management those who are with us today and those who are no longer among us. Their contribution, whether through tireless efforts, sacrifices, and support, have brought us to this important challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, as we move forward, let, us, let the spirit of unity and collaboration that has characterized this journey guide us in the continued effort to strengthen our nation's institutions and enhance our capability. Upcoming Somalia Security Conference in New York offers the opportunity how our 
international partners can play supportive and constructive role in the building of an efficient, effective, and accountable Somali security forces. Let us build upon the foundations laid by those who have given us so much and together strive towards the building of the momentum. This was a journey that has started long time ago. I would like here to gratefully appreciate the role that has been played by all the members, all the 15 members of the United Nations Security Council, in particular the 5B, the A3, and the rest of the Council. I would like to recognize as well the role that United Arab Emirates have played during their presidency in the UN Security Council. This was a collective effort by all. Here I would like to recognize as well throughout the difficult days that we had the Arab's embargo on us, the role that the African Union mission, AMISOM, now ATMIS have played in the last 16 years. When Somalia was not able to have the necessary uh, equipment to defend itself, to secure the territory, it was them who sacrificed it here in this country. Many of their boys and girls have paid the ultimate price in this country, and these boys and girls will ever remain part of the history of Somalia. The African problems for the African solution has been shown practically possible here in Somalia. We appreciate. We do not, we also recognize all the international partners, all of them, I cannot count one one, who contributed building an army that has the confidence to liberate this country from the scourge of the terrorism. Today, as late as this morning, Somali National Army and the Community Defense Forces have been chasing Al-Shabaab in different parts of Somalia, particularly in the few small area that is remaining in Galmuduk and Hirshabelle. This journey will end up a peaceful, stable, and prosperous Somalia. That is the seeds that you put in place for the last couple of decades. Not only there was an army's embargo on Somalia, but on the other hand, Somalia was supported at all levels that it was important for us. The international community, all of you, you have provided the Somali government is based to breathe, is based to organize, is based to build a modern state institutions, is based to build the security forces that are now going to take over the responsibility of the security. I would like to say our international partners, all of them, you did well. You helped Somalia a big time and your efforts will never be forgotten here in Somalia. Yes, the army's embargo has been lifted on Somalia, but that is not the end. A new chapter is started. New institutions are emerging within the Somali state now. New uh, uh, leaders are being established at the different layers of the Somali government to take the full responsibility of managing controlling, supplying, tracing responsibly the weapons and ammunition that Somalia has now and are going to have in the near future. In the last decade, we proved that we started from scratch. It was there, and I still remember, and some of you, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing in front of me, uh, Ambassador Mugisha, who was here all these difficult days with us, and who was here and who helped the Somali government at the first instance when we are going to establish the first armory here in this country. <laughs> the Amisom in general, and in particular the, the UBDF, has supported Somalia to have the first small armory to keep the arms and the ammunition in it. Today, Somalia has a number of arm armories not only at the federal and national level, but even in the federal member states, and not only the Somali National Army, 
but all the Somali national security forces, the four forces that the Somali government has, they have their own armory. Today, the information that regards the arm, the, the ammunition and the weapons are registered and digitalized even. There will always be mistakes, shortcomings here and there, but there are dedicated boys and girls in our security forces and our government who are following day after day whatever that to rectify any shortcomings that may take place. I would like to assure you, our great partners and friends, that we will take the full responsibility and commitment that the army's embargo that has been lifted now, we will not regret. And the Somali people and the, 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 the Horn of Africa region, African continent and the world at large will not regret. Somalia will prove to be as any other responsible member state in the global world in terms of arms embargo. I would like to also assure you that Somali institutions are now emerging. The army's embargo, as I said to you many times, is not only removing the restrictions to buy an army or to receive an, a, an army donation from our partners. 30 years, more than 30 years, this has been stigmatized in the name of Somalia. So we are very much grateful that you removed the stigma from our name. Disassociating ourselves from Al Shabaab was another milestone which I really appreciate that the United Nations Security Council has, that under the proposal and the, and, the, and, the, and the writing of the resolution by the United Kingdom. So, Shabaab is no different than Al Qaeda, ISIS, and others who have their own UN Security Council resolution. But Somalia is different. The army's embargo was lifted, the army's embargo was partially lifted on Somalia before, which was absolutely a good step towards the right direction in the past. But Shabab was there, was there and Shabab has always been under army's embargo, and they will remain under army's embargo. So separating Somalia's army's embargo lift and the imposing army's embargo on Shabab within the context of Somalia was a bit odd. And I'm very much grateful that our partners understood that, the United Nations Security Council, and they have stand by with Somalia to get. This is, a, it, it has been, it's giving us, besides the material support, it gives us a moral support. It's a, dignif it's a dignify, it's a dignity and pride for the Somali people. I thank you very much for that. Thank you. بشار 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 شركة إزجارسين تسمتل أو سوكر لسي أذيك كافية بلاس كاسو أتكي لي كرتيد نص دولار إلا إيا كونتون دولار هادبا ما عميلكو شوبا نص دولار أو هل هل دي بيعشان جي بي أو أي لسعوتو تضبات دقيقو إيا كونتون فرين قرالي كو شوبا هل دولار أو هل سدح جي بي أو أي لسعوتو بقول إيا أفرت دقيقو إيا كونتون فرين قرالي سيدو كلا ما عميلكو شوبا لبا دولار أو هل لح جي بي أو أي لسعوتو لبا بقول إيا سديت دقيقو إيا بقول فرين قرالي كو شوبا شان دولار أو هل سدح جي بي إيا بر أو أي لسعوتو لح بقولو دقيقو إيا لو بقولو فرين قرالي دا سيدو كلا ما عميلكو شوبو طبان دولار أو هل سدن جي بي أو أي لسعوتو كون يلاو بقولو دقيقو إيا سدح بقول فرين قرالي كو شوبو لواتن دولار أو هل تضواتن جي بي أو أي لسعوتو لبا كون إي أفر بقول أو دقيقو إيا سدح بقول اس ام اس سيدو كلا ما عميلكو شوبو كونتون دولار أو هل بقول يو كونتون جي بي أو أي لسعوتو لح كون أو دقيقو إيا سدح بقول اس ام اس أذيقا كافية بلاس وحدو وشوبان كرتا إي دهب حديق حل إبر حل أفر جيس أير تايم حديق لبا بقول أفر جيس رسالر حديك سدح بقول أفرقيس شركة دا إزقارسين تسومتل أو أتكيه لكرتو إنترنت قيمة جبن تيسر الله مسنا لسكوها لينكرو